What's up guys, happy Wednesday. While I've got everything out and kind of dirty, I'm making almond milks right now on our Good Nature X1. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like to make almond milks on the M1 uh, because you can make almond milks. I'm gonna show you two different ways and we're gonna compare yields. The first way is obviously just running them through the hopper. I always juice my nut milks equal parts nuts, equal parts water in weight. So I soak our almonds for 24 hours. I do a full Pyrex of nuts and then a full Pyrex of water. I blitz them in the Vitamix and then I pour them into the press bag. Before we got Judy, I did the same thing um, with the Vitamix and the mini. If you guys are new here, welcome to our juicery. My sister and I operate our juicery out of Northwest Ohio. We are blessed enough to have all three uh, good nature machines. Even at one point when we first got started, we had the countertop CT7. There is tons of content here on the channel. Uh, you can watch us all the way back to when we were operating on our juice truck. This M1 is good nature's newest launch. Uh, it is a made to order, tiny cold press machine. It runs about $5,000. It is all of the tech of the X1, of the mini, um, simplified and shrunk down into a tiny cold press machine. I used it yesterday to make, to finish off a cleanse real quick. I made uh, three almond milks. It was so fast, I threw all of this in the dishwasher. Um, and then within uh, like minutes, the dishwasher cycle, um, I was jumping to juicing citrus for an activated charcoal water. So I can already tell that this thing is gonna be a huge asset in the kitchen. Get Judy running. And we are gonna test out the M1. So the Vitamix has an advantage um, over the hoppers in these machines because the water is able to, the nuts are able to sit in the water and be, and be blended. Whereas in the M1 and the Mini, the nuts are run through the grinder and then they're spit out into the press chamber and the water often just runs right through. So I noticed when I was doing this on the Mini that I got a better yield when I used the Vitamix. Uh, so let's compare that and see what we get on the M1. We're going to do a cup of almonds and a cup of water. I'm not sure what the squish, squishage level on the M1 is. Uh, I don't want to push its limits and make a big mess. So we're just going to do a cup of almonds and a cup of water. All right, looks like we just got eight ounces with the Vitamix. Let's test it with the hopper. Let's try this. See what I mean, how the water just kind of runs through. I could have ground the nuts first and then ran the water through. Let's just see what happens. just under eight ounces but you get the idea just a little different but still the same product you can see the difference in the Vitamix grind and the M1 grind so if you're looking for um, better yield um, but if you don't want a dirty the Vitamix or your blender as well you can do it on the M1 I think that's the point is like you can make almond milks with just the M1 just the mini 
Um, you can kind of hack it a little bit if you use a blender. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. I just want to show you that you can do that. Um, you can make cashew milk, all kinds of nuts. Um, cashews do best if they aren't soaked. You can almost make like an instant milk. Um, if you do soak them, they get really squishy. Um, we get our nuts from Terrasol, T-E-R-A-S-O-L. We get that question a lot. As far as pricing, like per ounce, per pound, that depends on where you get your nuts from. If you guys have other questions, leave them down in the comments. There is an almond milk playlist here on the channel if you want to see all the different versions of almond milk that I've ever made on these machines. You can watch that. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!